Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A few days ago, I asked the community if they would like to see this project that I'm working on from start to finish. And the majority of people wanted to see it. So we're gonna do a video series for this build. The first video in this series will be the design. After that, we'll be doing the cabling, installing the J-hooks and doing the rough-in. The last video will be us installing the gear and then terminating, labeling, and testing. We'll also be validating our Wi-Fi design with the NetAlly AirCheck G3. So for this project, the seventh floor is gonna be a co-working space and each office is gonna get one data jack. They didn't want two in each room because they're gonna to try to leverage the Wi-Fi. So we have to make sure that we have one jack in each room and we could put that in with the design center. With the Unified Design Center, they only have faceplates that have two keystone jacks but it will give us a rough idea of how much cable we need. At the bottom, you can see they also want 12 cameras. This is a seven story building and we will be doing the cameras for the whole building, but this is totally separate from that build. If I can film the other floors, I will do that. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. I do have a Discord server and affiliate links down in the description below. I've already loaded the floor plan into Unified Design Center. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to draw in the walls so that we get an accurate reading for our Wi-Fi. There's a couple different ways we could do it. We could draw a room or we could just draw the wall. I'm going to draw the wall. And for the outside of the building, we're going to use this outer wall because it's brick, concrete, or other heavy materials. So I'll just start drawing it on. Now in the middle, we could also see that I have an elevator shaft and this is all concrete as well. So I'm going to fill that in. For the rooms within the seventh floor, we're going to draw a room and it's going to be an inner wall. So that's wood panel or other light partition. So this is just going to be drywall, which is light material. So we're just going to drag and drop and then go across to each room. So I'm going to fast forward this a bit because it's the same for each little room. Now that the walls are drawn on, we could put where the data jacks are going as well as our hardware, like our access points and our cameras. Right down below here, you could see it says tell. That is going to be our network closet. So I'm going to go to a rack. Over here, we're going to select a rack. We're just going to say existing 24U com rack, and we're going to drag and drop that into that telephone room. So this will give us an idea when we do auto cable, how far those cable distances are. Now, the next thing that I'm going to want to do, I'm going to want to place the keystone faceplate. So we're going to go to devices, and then we're going to scroll down, and we have cable connectors. Under cable connectors, there's a couple different things. There's two, there's four, there's eight, there's 12, and then there's 16 port. We're going to just use the two, and at the end, when we're looking at the cable, we're just going to divide it as we're only having one cable per room. So I'm going to grab the wall outlet, and I'm going to start placing it into the rooms. It's the same for every room, so we just need to drop it into the map. Now we have all the keystone faceplates in, we're going to need to draw our cable route. So we'll click on draw cable route, and for the cable route, I'm just going to start in this bottom right corner. We're going to go all the way around and then up into our network room. Now, one really cool feature with Unified Design Center is this auto cable. So if I press this, it will cable it all back to our network rack. So with this route completed, you can see that all of the keystone jacks are in yellow going up to this cable route, which we will be placing J hooks above the drop ceiling to do it. So I'm gonna press finish and all those cables will go back to the rack. Now, the next thing we need to put in is our Wi-Fi access point. So I'm gonna to go to devices and then we're gonna click on Wi-Fi. And for this project, we're gonna be using the U6 Pros. Once I click on the access point and put it on the map, you could see this little heat map. So I'm gonna have one in each corner and then we're gonna do two in the middle outside of the elevator shafts in the washroom. So with six access points on this floor, we should have good enough coverage. If we wanna see the coverage, we could click here and then we could click on Wi-Fi. And here we could see our five gigahertz, but if we wanna see our 2.4 gigahertz, you could click on that as well. And we will do a validation of our Wi-Fi design once the project is completed. If we do need to move the access points around, we could do that. The next thing we need to add is cameras and the client did put where they wanted the cameras on the floor plan. So you could see these green dots. Inside the building, we're gonna be using G4 domes and in the stairwell, we're gonna use G4 bullets. So we'll go over to devices, we'll click on camera security, and then we'll scroll down to find the G4 dome. Now that I have the G4 dome, we could start placing it on the map. And if we zoom in a little bit, you could see this little blue icon. We could switch where the camera is looking at. So we're gonna turn it to where the customer wants it. Another awesome feature with Unified Design Center is we could see the coverage of the cameras. So we'll click on coverage and then we'll click on cameras. 
and this will give us a general idea of the coverage where we're going to be seeing for our unify protect now that we have all the gear placed inside of our floor plan we can see how much cable that we're going to use we go in the top left corner click on the down arrow and then go to equipment list now under our equipment list we didn't fill out any of this we didn't say that we were using a dream machine or any of the switches they just automatically populated that for us we will be using 48 port switches but we'll be using the pro model so that's what i'm gonna have to change but on the right hand side we can see the estimated cable length and it's telling us 12,165 feet. Obviously, we're not using that much because we're doing double jacks in this floor plan, so we could just divide it by two. Divided by two, that gives us 6,082 feet, so we'll need at least seven boxes of cable as they come in 1,000 feet each. Now, to change the equipment that we're gonna be using, we could go over to our rack, and you can see that it's in auto mode currently. I'm gonna deselect that, and now we could change whatever devices we want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two 48 port switches. I'm going to go ahead and add the new devices, which will be the 48 port pro PoE switches. And you can now see that those have been populated within the rack. Our rack design is going to be a little bit different as this is our IDF. It's not our MDF. On the third floor, that's where we have our main rack and we're going to be uplinking to it. We're also going to have a couple UNVR pros within there stacked because of the amount of cameras that they're going to be using. But this is pretty much how I would do my rack. I would do a patch panel, then I'll do a switch, two patch panels, another switch, and then the last patch panel. For our network rack, this is the one that I'm going to be using. It's model number WMB1915-8, found at NSI Distribution. That's a Canadian brand, so I'm not sure if you could get them anywhere else. But it's a small little 8U rack that will fit perfectly in this closet. For cabling, we're going to end up using CAT6 Plenum as it has a Plenum airspace. And for our keystone jacks, we'll be using the vertical cable VMAX jacks. With that, we'll be using the vertical cable one punch tool, which makes it a whole lot easier when terminating. And for the patch panels, we'll be using the vertical cable keystone patch panels. And I do love how they have the cable management arm. So that's gonna be it for the initial design of this place. There is a lot of work to be done. We have to run all the cables. We gotta hang up the J hooks, put in our cameras, put up the access points, the cabinet, the fire rated plywood, and a bunch more. We'll also be doing a validation on the Wi-Fi with our Net Alley Air Checked G3. If you'd like to see anything in this build, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.